helping students or hurting schools. A voucher program that lets Ohio families trade failing public schools for private ones has some people frustrated tonight. Ed Choice was created more than a decade ago to let students leave failing schools, but some district leaders say their school should not be on that list. News 5's Olivia Fecto here now to explain how the whole thing changed. Yeah, good evening, Robin Danita. More than 400 districts now have at least one school that is classified as failing on the most recent list put out by the state. That's up from a little more than 30 districts just two years ago. And there is uh, nothing about our school or our school district that is underperforming. Eric Foreman is the principal of Onaway Elementary School in Shaker Heights. He's disappointed and frustrated by his school's addition to a list of Ed Choice schools. A judgment of Onaway or Shaker Heights being deemed as underperforming is insulting and inaccurate. And for the amount of work that the uh, not only our teachers but our students and our community put into our school district, um, this flies in the face of that. Onaway is one of three Shaker Heights Elementary schools now on that Ed Choice list. Students there can use a voucher to leave their home school and put it toward tuition at a private or religious school. Schools are graded on a scale of A to F, and schools that end up on the list received a D or F in at least one of six categories. There are various subcategories. There's value added. Um, there's K through three literacy, a number of things. That's State Senator Matt Huffman, a proponent of voucher programs in Ohio. The primary obligation for educating the child does not rest on the state or the local school district or even the private school. It rests with the family, and the family should be able to take their child and the public dollars to any school that they want. But Huffman says some of the criticism about Ed Choice is fair. For example, the fact that schools can't always perform better year to year on what's called value added. That's a little like you know, saying a guy won the batting average you know, championship. He was first and the next year he's first too, but they said, well, yeah, you're not getting any better. So far, the impact of Ed Choice vouchers on Shaker Heights has been small. Only five families have used a voucher at one specific school. Three of those families had never been in uh, Mercer and simply their, their students were starting their uh, kindergarten careers uh, elsewhere with a voucher. Still, Shaker is not the only district experiencing this. We think that when local tax dollars are suddenly funneled to private and religious schools uh, and the taxpayers have no say in that whatsoever, that's simply wrong. They want their local dollars to go to their local schools. Principal Foreman says students are learning more than just what's on standardized tests to prepare them for life and work in the 21st century. All of that cannot be judged on two, two afternoons of math and two afternoons of science on a standardized test at age 8, 9, and 10. Senator Huffman says he is working with people from public education and from the Ohio House to try to fix some of the scoring issues with Ed Choice. The people we talked to in Shaker Heights have suggested some changes, too. Those include a cap on how much money a school district can lose from vouchers each year or asking the state to fund vouchers directly rather than taking them for local tax dollars. In the studio, Olivia Fecto, News 5.